Hello, I'm Robin Henning, and welcome to another Exchange Life Nugget of Truth. So are you ready for 2017? What do you anticipate this next year is going to be like? Are you excited about the transition from Obama to Trump? You know, for some folks, that creates all kinds of fear and anxiety, while for others, it leads to rejoicing. Nevertheless, this is the time of year that I encourage folks to, to pray through setting their annual goals in a variety of areas of their life, from the spiritual life to physical things like losing weight or exercising, to financial things, getting their budget in order and getting rid of their debt, to, to maybe some career goals that they need to establish. And those are all really important, and I hope that you'll take time to do that. But as I look back over 2016, and even at some more recent world events, I can't help but wonder if 2017 just might be the year that our Savior comes for His bride. You see, all the key players are in place for the battle that's described in Ezekiel 38, and there are a lot of rabbis in Jerusalem calling their people to come back to Israel because Messiah is coming very soon. And Israel Israel's being pressured from every side by all the nations around it and by the UN. It, it seems just to be one step away from a battle on any front. You know, our, our whole world seems like a powder keg and that somebody's lit the fuse and it's just a matter of moments before it's going to blow. Now, I don't mean to be discouraging. I, I find that exciting. So I, I guess the question that we have to ask is, are we ready for the upward call of Christ Jesus? And if not, what do we need to do to be ready? Well, first, we need to make sure that we have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus. And that comes, folks, only by placing our faith in His shed blood to pay the penalty for our sin. It's not enough just to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Satan knows that. It's really about placing our faith in Him that when we stand before God and He asks us, why should I let you in? We're going to know to say, I've put my faith in Jesus and His shed blood to pay the penalty for my sin, and I acknowledge Him as my Savior and my God. So that's the first step to being ready. But the second step is, have we really come to that point of surrender? Surrendering our life to His life in us, flowing through us, where we've put off the flesh and put on the mind of Christ, where we understand now our new identity in Him and are allowing Him to express that through us. You know, I really do strongly believe that this could be the year that Jesus comes for us. And I know I don't want to leave here with any regret that I've failed to share the gospel with someone that I care about. How about you? Are you ready to, to share the gospel at any moment? If not, maybe that's something you need to work on this year and really learning how to share effectively the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, beloved, maybe what we need to do more than anything as we prepare for 2017 is to take some time and ask the Holy Spirit to search us and to try us, to test us, to see if there's any area in our lives that, that isn't pleasing to Him, that isn't lining up with God's Word. And then by His grace, through the power of the Holy Spirit, making the change to line up with God and to line up with His Word. So I hope you'll take that challenge. I hope you'll spend some time uh, preparing for 2017, first in that way, spiritually, where you're ready, if He comes at any moment, that you have no regrets, that you will have shared the gospel, you will be living out the life of Christ in you, that people will see Christ in you and are drawn to Him, and that when He says, come up here, and He catches us away like a, like a Jewish bridegroom coming for a bride, you'll be all ready and expecting Him to come. So I hope you'll accept that challenge. It challenges me. I want to be ready. I hope you are too. And I hope you have a blessed 2017.